Hi there, I'm Chris May, writer, producer, host of This Day in Weather History. It's a podcast from the Weather Network. Today we're talking about July 5th, back in 1936, one of the deadliest heat waves in Canadian history, and it affected desperately the provinces of Manitoba and Ontario. Now, we've all had those those July 5ths in our lives where we've said, whoa, man, it is way too hot. Ah, no big deal. I'll just simply put my air conditioner on and turn it up. But what if air conditioning had not been invented yet? Because that certainly was the case back in 1936 on this day in weather history. The situation in Ontario was already dire. Drought had set in, the temperatures were already hot, they were getting hotter, there hadn't been any rain for weeks. Ontario farmers, especially in the southwest, were complaining of dried, cracked fields and riverbeds that had been reduced to dust. July 7th, the temperatures for another consecutive day were over 30 degrees, but this is where things really started to get worse. On the 8th, we reached a new plateau when it hit 35 degrees Celsius. On the 9th was when they crossed that 40 degree threshold and this was now making life intolerable, especially for some of the poorer nations that were described as districts of torture. On July the 10th, when things started to now unravel, it was when the temperature for another consecutive day was over 40 degrees Celsius. This is now several days in a row and people started to succumb to it. The death toll started to rise and it rose quick. By the time all was said and done, uh, over 200 lives had been claimed in Toronto, closer to 1,200 for all areas that were affected by what happened this day in weather history.